Most people think a VPN is the only way to stay anonymous. But what if you don't want to use one or spend few bucks or maybe it's not available where you are. Today I'm going to show you exactly how to become a digital ghost without spending a single penny on a VPN. Online privacy isn't just about hiding illegal activities. It's about protecting your fundamental right to digital freedom. Every single day, data brokers, advertisers, hackers, and even government are collecting massive amounts of information about you. Your browsing habits reveal more about you than your own journals. They know your political views, health concerns, shopping patterns, and even they can predict your future behavior. This data is worth billions of dollars, and guess what? We're not getting paid for it. Let me tell you about Sarah, a journalist. She was investigating corruption in a local government project. She used incognito mode thinking she was safe. But within weeks, she started receiving threatening calls. How did they track her? Sarah made the same mistake millions of people make every day. She thought incognito mode meant invisible mode. Her ISP logged every website and her DNS queries were also being recorded by her internet provider. This isn't just Sarah's story. It's happening to all of us today. So how do you actually stay anonymous without a VPN? Let me break this down into four game-changing strategies. Point number one is master the Tor browser. Tor isn't just for the dark web. It's your free open source invisibility clock. Unlike VPNs, Tor routes your traffic through multiple encrypted layers across different countries. And the best part, it's completely free and no single entity controls it. However, here's what most people get wrong. They install Tor, but keep using it like Chrome. You need to make few tweaks before you start using it. I've explained what settings you need before accessing the dark corner in this video. Do check out after this. Point number two is DNS over HTTPS. What do I mean by that? DNS is like internet's phone book. When you type a website's name, your device asks a DNS server for the IP address. Normally, these DNS requests are sent in plain text your ISP and anyone on the same network can see every website you ask for, even if the site itself is HTTPS. So by switching to DNS over HTTPS, you encrypt these queries. You can set up Cloudflare 1.1.1.1 or Quads 9 Secure DNS. And how you do it? I have linked a document below which you can refer, follow the steps and experiment on your own browser. This simple 5 minute change prevents your ISP from seeing which websites you are visiting even without a VPN. Point number three is browser isolation and hardening. Most people use the same browser for everything, whether it's banking, social media, researching, or any other activity. Don't lie to yourself. You do it, right? I don't blame you because it's easy, but this creates a detailed profile of your activities. Instead, use different browser for different activities. Trust me, it isn't that hard when it becomes the habit. Firefox with strict privacy settings for general browsing, Tor for sensitive research, and a separate hardened browser for financial activity. I don't hate Chrome, but I would rank Firefox, Tor, and Brave browser on top of it. Clear cookies, disable tracking, and use extensions like uBlock Origin. Point number four is the power of public networks, when done right. Here's a counterintuitive tip. Public Wi-Fi can actually enhance your anonymity if used correctly. When combined with Tor and proper security measures, using different public networks makes it nearly impossible to trace activities back to your home internet connection. Just ensure you're using HTTPS only sites and never access personal accounts. But here's the shocking truth that the cybersecurity industry doesn't want you to know. Many popular VPN services have been caught logging user data and some are even owned by data mining companies. In 2020, seven major VPN services including UFO VPN, Fast VPN and others were found to be exposing user data. They leaked over 20 million user logs. Even no logs VPN like IPVanish handed over user data to FBI investigation. And you know what the harsh reality is? When you pay for a VPN, you're often just shifting your trust from your ISP to another company that might be even less trustworthy. At least with the methods that I've shown you, you're relying on an open source, auditable systems rather than corporate promises. Okay, so here's your action plan to reclaim your digital privacy, starting today. Step one is to download the Tor browser and set it up properly. Step two is to configure DNS over HTTPS in your regular browser. Go to your browser settings, find DNS settings, and switch to Cloudflare's 1.1.1.1 or Quads 9 Secure DNS, and refer to the document that I've linked below. Step 3 is create browser isolation. Use Firefox with privacy extension for daily browsing, Tor for sensitive research, and never mix personal and private activities in the same browser session. 
Step 4 is to set up a privacy focused routine. Clear cookies weekly, use different browser for different purposes, and regularly check what data you are sharing through privacy checkup tools. You don't need expensive VPNs or complex setups. With the steps I showed you, you can reclaim your digital privacy for free. If you like the effort, then support this channel by subscribing and share the video with your friends and family to keep them safe. I will see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe, stay secure, and take care.